All right, next up, we've got Maxime Hacard. Hello, Maxime. Hey, Chris. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thanks. So, uh, for those who don't know you yet, tell us a little bit about yourself. So, I'm Maxime Hacard, a French motion designer. I'm the co-founder of the Motion Designers Community and MHS Pod Director, and I mostly focus on 3D motion graphics. Excellent. What are you going to be talking about today? So today I will talk a bit about my approach at making graphics with Houdini. I'm coming from Cinema 4D background, so this talk may be really interesting for people wanting to do a jump or see how we can create uh, motion graphics with Houdini. And I will talk a bit about my director position, so I will try to give a bit of an idea how I manage to work with several Houdini artists. So maybe that would be great for people maybe wanting to know how they could be hired in smaller creative studios, because we heard a lot of people wanting to reach cinema studio, but little studios <laughs> like the one I have also exist with two or three people working. And we are always looking for Houdini artists, so I wanted to share also the smaller creative jobs. Excellent. Fascinating, I love that. Uh, so let's jump in. Yeah, let's go. Hey everyone, hope you and your family are well. I'm super happy to be here today, thanks to Off and Sidefix. Uh, so today I will do a call for the beginners and people that are interested in uh, motion graphics and 3D in uh, general. I hope you will enjoy. Uh, this talk will not be about um, crazy photorealistic uh, VFX and more about uh, simple and uh, fun uh, visuals. So small presentation about um, myself. I'm Maxime Accard, a digital artist from France, director of the small studio MHS Pod. Uh, I like to create uh, dark and uh, abstract visuals. I'm also the admin of the Motion Designers community. You probably uh, know the community from Instagram or our YouTube channel where you have uh, nice Houdini uh, content. Um, I invite you to check out the channel if you're not familiar with it. You have a lot of uh, educative content. You can also find me on uh, Behance to have a wider idea of my job. And of course, in the online communities like the MDC face Facebook group and the MDC Discord, um, which is a nice place to share work have uh, industry news, ask for feedbacks and everything. So if you're already familiar with the community, uh, I'm really glad that you are watching this uh, talk. And if you're not familiar, please uh, check out. It's a really nice place to uh, progress um, all together. So you can uh, find me on social media, of course. And yeah, let's uh, start. So. What I do, I'm a digital artist, director, community admin, and educator, and definitely not a godlike VFX uh, artist. Um, I do a lot of uh, little tasks every day, and I'm not like a full time uh, working on big films or all those things. So it gives you a better idea of who I am, what I'm doing, and uh, what you can learn by watching this um, talk. Um, I also have done two other presentations that I think are worth watching, especially if you never tried Houdini. I'm coming from Cinema 4D and After Effects background and uh, I explain in my, call, uh, in my talk called Houdini for 3D Motion Graphics why starting and how um, how I started, what I like in Houdini, what I miss in Houdini and all those things and I have another uh, talk called Houdini as a vector of creativity which is a longer uh, talk where I show what I do with Houdini, what my friends are doing and I talk about some uh, cool projects so 
if uh, you're interested, I think those are nice resources, especially uh, for beginner. Uh, I want to be clear on that. Um, it's definitely not technical stuff and clearly uh, oriented to people into motion graphics coming from After Effects or Cinema for the background or even, even Blender. So here is some style frames uh, from what I do uh, without um, Houdini. Uh, I like uh, abstract, dark and surrealism uh, universe and I a um, few years ago I started to learn Houdini to uh, add more creativity into my work and break my habits and I was able to create more organic design and um, renew what I was doing so it's uh, definitely a great experience that I keep uh, enjoying and I keep uh, experimenting creating small uh, things and definitely a bigger project as well but um, I love to create small experiment using the different tools that you have inside the software um, I can show you a little bit uh, of insight as an example on the this project. Uh, this project was a project created for uh, Adobe Maxon collection. So they asked me to create a series of abstract visual for stock. It was for promoting Adobe stock. And uh, my good idea was uh, why not creating uh, Adobe Maxon visual with uh, SideFX Udini. Uh, of course, I used uh, Cinema 4D uh, and uh, Adobe, but many of the main shapes and main setups were done in uh, Houdini uh, to create uh, those kind of really cool um, little simulation to create uh, fun motion graphics like here with the for loops and uh, all those uh, little uh, satisfying uh, elements that you can create uh, with uh, Houdini so I can show you a little bit uh, about how it's created and maybe it can give uh, people uh, an idea about uh, the power of Houdini. So the, this first setup was uh, really simple and what I do is often really simple. Um, so here it's a simple plane with intersection, uh, triangulate to the node, uh, divide and compute uh, dual option then a little bit of um, calculation to uh, find some paths, apply colors, create some patterns and this create this uh, really cool um, organic patterns that I will probably not um, have been able to create uh, in uh, Cinema 4D. I li really like Houdini for the output you can quickly get on uh, organic uh, design and then I use the cinema uh, because uh, unlike uh, VFX or client job where you have a mood board, a storyboard or a, a precise idea of what you will do I just experimented and uh, like a photographer I imported my setup and was just uh, playing around trying to find cool lighting and cool angles so that's a really fun way of uh, creating and different than a uh, client job because here you can just uh, experiment a little bit more and just uh, you know change change angle more freely this one uh, again the main shapes were created in uh, Houdini and uh, for the purpose of the collection it was created with um, Cinema 4D Maxon and uh, Postprod with uh, Adobe and uh, again Houdini really strong at creating those uh, kind of uh, uh, abstract shapes and I like this example because um, I have uh, beginner students and many um, ask me uh, why I think Houdini is more powerful than other uh, software to create this kind of thing like in cinema you can easily um, use a cloner and add some effectors to modify position, scale and rotation and this example is nice because it's basically the same kind of thing like it's a, a, an object with a, um, some you know replicated and scattered over some points so something that you can easily do in many software but here uh, instead of being able to apply only position, scale and rotation um, 
modifiers in Houdini you can use metadata to you know vary vary noise subdivisions and any kind of parameter and that's really where the software starts to be more powerful and then um, you know I just play with a uh, simple built-in uh, nodes like connect adjacent PCs polywire VDB from polygons to create uh, fun shapes um, so yeah Houdini could be you know used for the, the most simple things and you can output really cool results out of it here I played for those three visuals with uh, Velum which is an incredible solver uh, for classes and uh, strands here and here it's a um, uh, for loops uh, workflow again it's uh, super easy to create this kind of uh, patterns and uh, animate them in Houdini uh, because you can easily uh, repeat 10 20 times an operation uh, while in uh, the other software um, you can actually do it but it's not as uh, easy so that's why I love Houdini um, by breaking the habits you can output really different things and here is something that I really like to show to uh, beginners is uh, that Houdini you can easily build your own uh, little uh, tools um, and uh, I like the mindset you will do something once and never do it again so it will take more time to build the whole setup but once it's built you can simply save it as an asset share it with your friends share it with your team and have a nice output uh, out of it um, I've worked a lot uh, on bigger ads this year but um, due to NDA or unreleased yet project I will show you um, uh, smaller jobs and more and more often agencies um, called me to create 3D stills uh, for art direction which I think is uh, pretty cool uh, to create directly 3D uh, instead of having um, Photoshop in 2D and then trying to turn it into um, 3D so here um, it's all done uh, with uh, Houdini and I wanted to use Houdini because um, the client wanted to get uh, unique uh, visuals and um, they also wanted to have some kind of realism on it and another people tried before me um, and was using cheats like uh, noises and kind of displacement and it didn't work that well and I think Houdini was the perfect tool to achieve uh, this kind of uh, really nice looking um, and realism effect so here it's like a real simulation and here as well simple stuff uh, but um, I think I will not be able to create those kind of nice results that fast with other techniques so here it's just like simple ripple solver um, to create this uh, nice uh, ripple effect here it was built using the ocean tools and here it was like a cone simulation that was done uh, apart and here you have more little particles and the client was really looking for something you know um, looking like water so that was really great to use Houdini because I think it provides accurate results really fast so here is more frames um, from the the art direction of the project and the, the steel frames so here is just like s simple noise and figure spread out so something really really simple and I really like Houdini for that I think it's nice because you can easily create iteration um, to me you can create accurate sims uh, I ask myself what tool I should use uh, before st starting this and uh, I think I will not be able to produce fast results like that using other tools like Cinema 4D or X-Particles and it's real 3D and it's really important because even if it's style frames um, it's important to have real 3D if the client let's say wants want to change a lighting or an element you can really create uh, different uh, stuff it's client friendly 
uh, and it's graphic motion friendly because if the client likes your art direction that was built in uh, in 3D, you can e more easily start to do a motion, and the motion will looks more like the <laughs> what you provided. While it's if it was done fully in Photoshop, it could be harder to replicate exactly the same kind of things, and it's easier for teams. Uh, because you can easily share your setup, you can uh, hire, uh, in my position, uh, better or technical artists to build some tools and collaborate more e e easily. So yeah, definitely something that I like uh, in the process of uh, you know creating uh, style frames for our direction. So directly after the brainstorm, creating a 3D style frame. Uh, is nice so more and more agencies um, called me um, to do that and I'm happy because a few years in the past it was often the agency directly having 2D um, concepts and out of those 2D concepts we should create 3D and now uh, working hand by hand to directly provide to the client something in 3D is uh, I think better for everyone, especially if the final goal is to create a uh, motion design. Um, few little points for people watching, beginners. Um, Udini is really famous for VFX work and a bit less for motion because it's, uh, I think, used for less years in motion. And motion is not VFX, definitely. You spend a lot uh, less time on projects. Uh, it's definitely less technical, but you have shorter deadlines and clients that can change are really more uh, their minds so it's really different uh, so skills require of course are different and another point that I think is uh, worth mentioning is uh, that every 3D motion is lo not like man versus machine uh, in terms of uh, work requirement man versus machine is probably uh, one of my favorite company um, I think I, s I s started Udini because of their work and it's still one of my favorite inspiration but uh, every beginner should remind that there is a lot of job that you don't necessarily see on internet or on social medias where you can actually use Houdini with a small technical level and actually have fun, have creativity and um, I think it's worth mentioning that you you don't have to put that much pressure on yourself you can without being that much technical already create nice things and let you the time to progress um, so uh, talking about uh, my uh, previous conference um, I was uh, having a project of uh, creating um, a conference for kids actually between 9 to nine to 14 years old to give them uh, the opportunity to discover uh, 3D motion graphics and how they can use uh, mass to um, to create uh, visuals my motivation was uh, that um, at school you you learn mass but you I, I didn't enjoy it and I wanted to show um, that you can actually create you know more than um, something just like calculation and all the stuff so the project launched uh, last year and the first conference is nearly finished several sponsors are already interested and I was really surprised because uh, many people contacted me uh, after my previous talk so that was really helpful the goal is to make the first conference in September so yeah it, during that time I'm still looking for more sponsor peer review because I think it's really important even if it's really basic math to have some uh, people checking that everything is easily understandable that it's catchy that uh, it will raise at attention and of course update it um, so if any one of you watching this uh, call wants to suggest me some stuff I'm definitely open to it if you want to share some you know of your work a setup or just have an idea I'm, I'm definitely still open uh, to it and I wanted also to you know give uh, 
head ups to Junichiro Horikawa because on this channel is doing that but definitely at a whole different level that's not at all what I want to do and what I will do again my my goal is to do it for kids so it will be really basic um, things basic mass and wow effect like mostly to make the 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 younger generation discover our job but then maybe they will get hyped and few years after they will check this uh, awesome uh, YouTube channel and uh, you definitely need need to check because there is a lot of uh, you know really interesting content all free and um, I love internet for that for people sharing their knowledge and I wanted to mention this uh, awesome uh, YouTube channel so thanks again for watching uh, this really small talk thanks for off and uh, side effects for inviting me uh, feel free to contact me if you want to work with MHS Broad I'm often looking for uh, freelancers and indies and um, or if you want to just uh, talk about the conference project or just join the motion designers community social medias that will be awesome to connect to connect thanks and see you soon